It isn't surprising, given the need to align all our resources in a pandemic, that leadership has been an absolutely vital component of how we've tackled and risen to this challenge. Leadership has allowed our frontline teams to feel more empowered. It's given them permission to act in a way that's been far faster than previously. And also leadership has, has allowed some of our systems and processes to get out of the way to allow our teams to operate and focus on the most crucial aspects of delivering patient care, particularly in those very early days of the pandemic. Good leadership during the pandemic has looked a lot different to our business as usual. I think having to adapt to a remote way of working and being able to support staff through that has been really important to us as an organisation. We've adapted in a number of ways. We've really tried to empower staff to be able to make decisions themselves, but also provided different resources for them. As a, as a leader of the network across the region, I think it's been really important to support all staff working within our stroke pathways. So I made sure that I became familiar with the technology so that then when I was holding meetings or leading a meeting or leading a session using the remote technology, I was be able to support the participants in that. I think leadership at this point is absolutely crucial because if we don't have strong leadership from all levels of the organisation and the system, we are in danger of reverting back to how we worked previously. And that would be a real, real tragedy because whilst in the midst of such a terrible time, some really good, innovative, different ways of working have emerged.